The FEMA specs for a safety shelter that can withstand an EF5 tornado is it's got to be able to withstand something like a 2x4 launched at 100 miles an hour or better. So that's one of the things we've got to do to test it is that we're going to build a cannon to launch a 2x4 at 100 miles an hour or better. Pete, how in the world does this thing work? Well, basically what we have is a piston driven air cannon. And so the idea is you got to dump all that pressurized air into that barrel as quickly as you can to accelerate the two before. Our cannon is like a potato gun, only bigger and more dangerous. It's going to consist of an air reservoir, pistons, a heavy duty valve, and a barrel that's 20 feet long. We'll pressurize the air in our reservoir tank up to 100 psi. When we flip the valve, the pistons will force pressurized air into the barrel, and that's going to launch the 2x4 at least 100 miles per hour. And that's approximately the speed of flying debris in an F5 tornado. While Pete and I worked on the air cannon, Daddy and Michael got going on the door assembly. 30 and 3 quarters. No, it's too wide. Inside. No, it's got to be outside. This place got to So you, Look, this comes out. No, 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 do it just like that. It comes out to that edge, and you'll be right. Oh, it does? Yeah. That's the way we made it fit. To the edge. To the edge. Right well, there. then the yeah. top ain't right. If I well, do that, who gives top. a rip? It's out in the wide open air to the world. OK, well. After hearing you talk about how how fast these things going to come out of here, it's like 50 cal or more. Like this, almost this, two. Man, this this barrel is going to ring. It's going to ring like that. The barrel is going to ring. And you're going to get and you're going to get a recoil with it. That makes yeah. me nervous. So uh, I'd like to mount it in a trailer or in the back of the truck. Why don't we get one sheet of plywood and build those runners on it and strap it to that sheet of plywood, and then we'll take Daddy's four wheeler trailer. So I did what I always do in these situations. Mine. Yeah. What's going on out there? What are you talking about? Look at my trailer. My four-wheeler trailer. One, two, three. Oh. Figure one of these days I'm going to come in here and there won't be anything left but my truck. <laughs> well, the sun's starting to set, and Pete and I finished the air cannon just in time. So we're going to take it out back and see if we can fire off this sucker. Right. Take it to the edge of the field. All right. And let's go shoot this thing. Let's go. All right, guys. We put a lot of work in this air cannon so we can sling these two befores like a tornado. Let's see if it'll reach 100 mile an hour or more. We're going to measure with that radar gun, right, Pete? We're ready. All right, so Daddy's down there. Michael, check and see if he says it's clear to load and shoot this thing. All right, it's, it's all clear now. All right. Once it's loaded up with a two before, we start pumping air into the reservoir. We want to get it up to 100 PSI before we flip the switch. 